What's up guys, welcome to session 73. Today we're going up Ben Loman Peak. We got the Talaria boys here. We got some buddies. We're gonna go hit up some fall colors, have a bunch of fun. Let's head out. All right, it's the real session 73 here. Shout out to Lance for doing my intro. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ride. Got my gear, got my Talaria, got a couple Surons coming. And we are gonna head up that mountain. Stoked to be doing this ride with the uh, Teleria boys. We went out earlier this summer or in the spring, but I didn't film it. So figured this would be a good one, especially with like, these awesome fall colors. We're looking at about a close to 20 mile round trip. We've got two Surons and then the rest are Telerias. Usually the Telerias are outnumbered, but more people around here are picking up Hilarious. So the goal is to make it up to the top of this mountain called Ben Loman. And I have a couple of stickers that I want to stick on their sign-in box. So that's the mission. Hello. Looks like Reed from the Teleria boys, his chain fell off, but they're all set, so we're all good. There's eight of us up here, it's quite the crew. I'm definitely not the most experienced moto rider, but I can't even imagine riding a, like a 450 up this, but as you saw back there, people do, and even bigger. But I've been wanting to do this ride ever since I got this thing, so happy to finally be doing it a year and a half later almost we'll see how my uh shy battery does on range too but so far so good still at 90 percent we've gone about well, two miles all uphill got some extra weight in my backpack as well so pretty confident hello congrats on the find that was kind of the first trickier part. Ran into some deer hunters. That was cool. Packing the meat out on that massive motorbike. Oh man, that's rad. I've seen better. <laughs> this is sweet though. You still getting an air? Is it that cable? Oops, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that thing just is a little tense. So. Don't know. Here when you when you turn, it pulls it out. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty taut there. Might have to adjust that. So our friend's son is on the triple X. He keeps getting a Air 37, but what's happening is the throttle connector is popping out. I think it's when he does a hard turn. I need to get more slack on the wire there. Hanging in there. We're good. Yeah. Unless you're bored up there. <laughs> okay. We'll keep following you. Holy cow. Just like that, a change of scenery. We're up in some pines. In the timbers. And pretty soon we'll be up in some tundra. So. It's quite the ride. So I'm shooting this video on the last day of September. We're not going to have 
very many chances to ride a ride like this before winter sets in here, especially this high up in Utah. So again, just glad to be out. Glad there's uh, plenty of people that wanted to do this too. Thank you. There's three more. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that happen. Onyx Off Road said that this is a 10 mile trip. I don't, I don't think that's round. I think that's one way. So what goes up must come down. Kind of read it out right here. It's sandy. You know, there is one advantage of being heavier is your bike sticks to the trail a little bit better. A little rocky through here. Thank you. There's three more. Thank you. This is cool. This sweet little section through this low brush. We're definitely getting up into the tundra now. This is awesome. Was that you honking? No. Was that you guys? What's up? Honking? No. Oh. I swear I heard a little honk. Dude, this is rad. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but our destination's off to the left-hand side there, that peak. It'd be nice to have those shin guards right now. I got thick pants on, but Hitting that low brush could get gnarly. And I should probably slow it down. That's like a straight drop off off to the left there. Be a little bit more cautious here. At least the trail's nice right here. And there's our destination. Ben Loman Peak. Man, get a little vertigo. <laughs> All good. You doing all right? Yeah. This is sweet. How's it going, Lance? Good. Good. What is this? Is it like 10 miles or, or uh, one way? Or? I think it's just a little further. Well, no, it's not. We're at five right now, so. We're good. It's not too fur much further. We kind of just ride the ridge a little bit and then it's and up there. The, there's some switchbacks. You can see that trail up on uh -huh. there. That's it. Yeah. Nice. How many times have you done this? Uh, I've only done it to the top once. Okay. But I've been to here three times now. I've been to over there four times. <laughs> nice. We only made it twice when we brought Reed, but I did it once by myself. So how do you guys decide what to shoot and what not to shoot? Uh, if you've done it. I don't know. It's just whatever's coming our way. Like we try to just, you know, mix up things a little bit. Yeah. If we ever really need a video, we'll go do a ride video. Yeah. Or we always just, if, since there's three of us, we always have some part that's coming in or yeah. something too to install. That's or, true. Um, you know, bike and scooter reviews have yeah. been pretty good for us this year. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, I think having three of us makes a huge difference. Dude, I know. It's hard being a one-man show. 
Yeah, you gotta even, split up all the revenue, but it's... Yeah, that's true. But even having someone film makes life yeah. so much easier. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I have my drone in here, and I'm like, I don't want to slow anyone down. All right. Am I holding you guys back? No. Taking a good pace? Okay. Oh, it smells so good up here. A little squirrely right there. It's nice that this trail allows motorcycles because there's only two around here, like in the immediate vicinity of my house that do. And the fact that it's a pretty spectacular trail, that's makes it all worth it. But, uh, I don't know if I went the wrong way. But, maybe it was a little shortcut. There she is. Ben Loman Peak. Oh, nice whoopies. Yeah, got a little storm rolling in. Hopefully we don't get trashed by that. Or it stays south of us. This is another one of those don't look down spots. It's like we've come to a crossroads. Have you been looking at the radar? I mean, the wind's blowing this way. Yeah, we're just wondering what the go, no go spot is. Oh, that's just rolling in. Okay. Well, we'll uh, go up there. Back down. Okay. Actually, no, I was an hour and a half. Like, Total? Three miles past. Oh, wow. Like, there and back. So. We just got some switchbacks and we're at the top. Getting a little nervous with uh, some clouds rolling in, but uh, we should be good. Plus, Dallin up there is on search and rescue, so. He would actually, he's like the best person to ride with. He's got the medical knowledge. He's got all his crew and the search and rescue. So feeling pretty good. But you gotta be smart about this stuff. It's not so much the rain, but any sort of lightning that could be the serious issue, you know? Oh, oh, good thing I got these shoes on. I just bashed my toe. I got some riding shoes. They're not like motocross boots or anything, but I've got reinforced ankles and toes. And we're getting into some switchbacks here. There you go. Kind of lost my momentum. I don't want to whiskey it. Ooh, <laughs> little wheelie there. I don't know what my range is at. It's on the display on the actual Titan Shy battery. Let's see. So I'm at 68. That should be good. We've only gone seven miles. So with this constant climb, you know, it's gonna tax the battery for sure. The switchbacks are the hardest part. Just kind of need momentum going into them.
<laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. This part's not great. Oh, free. Just like on this angle here. There you go. That's how you do it. Ah. Ah. Oh man, that's not what I wanted to do. Probably helps to have like that wheelie skill, huh? Yeah. Probably helps to have that wheelie down. Yeah, it helps a little bit. Got a little twisted. Gotta love that. I knew these switchbacks were gnarly, but, well, actually I didn't know they were this gnarly. I just knew there was switchbacks at the end, but this isn't too bad, at least right here. Gotta love the heavy breathing. You gotta be getting close. Who knew you could get a side ache from sitting down? We're definitely almost there. This is as rocky as can be. I see an end in sight. We did it. That was gnarly. gnarly <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Dan? That was like three miles of what you took us through the other night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was wild. I oh, <laughs> only fell once. That's good for me. All right, so the summit's up there. I think we found the stopping point for our bikes. They all did really well. No major issues, except for me falling over. But uh, what do you think, Lance? Oh, 
Oh, it's awesome up here. We got all the fall colors. We look into the valley. There's it's, still snow down here. Yeah, there oh, really right. is going to be here for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. Right down there. I literally That's think snow. that snow is going to be here all through winter and into next summer. For sure. <laughs> There's Reed up there. So we're going to hike the rest of the way. Lance says that he took his bike up there, but I don't see any pictures to prove it. So you got a picture. Yeah, that's up here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we got a nasty storm coming in. So that's where I want to put my stickers. I'm gonna leave that for someone who's up here in a blizzard or something. Might be us. Yeah. <laughs> so, alright, got my stickers on here. Keep Ogden a secret. That's Ogden. Not doing a very good job of it. Shy battery, which got me up here, and Super 73, which I don't know if a Super 73 would ever make it up here, but got to represent. Anyway, we got to head down. It's looking pretty gnarly back there. All right, so the Telaria boys are going on a little further because they're hardcore. I'm going to head back down. So thanks for riding. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I bet you will catch you at the bottom. Probably. Yeah, probably. At least me. <laughs> See you guys. Going down might be more crazy than going up. You caught us. You weren't kidding. You seen Reed and Alex? I haven't seen them. Oh, nice. I beat them. They went down the other way. Oh, they. Which way? Really steep way. To go down like into that side or what? No, it's just up here. Oh. Um, you can go up over the ridge and down. Okay. But it's nasty. Yeah. You guys are crazy. Hello. Seems though. Look at these leaves. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! 
All right, we got Lance here from Teleria Boys. We got Reed back there, it's so tiny. And Alex is doing all the work at the truck, but anyway, there you go. That's what happens when you're the youngest. You're stuck doing the chores. Are you the youngest? Yep. Yeah. By a year. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Nobody died. I fell over once or twice, but that's what editing's for. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. That yeah, was sweet. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, glad you could make it out. Yeah. And. Uh, I like riding with you guys. I just don't know if I'm as skilled as you guys. So <laughs> as long as you go easy on the old man. Yeah, we ride good. a lot. Yeah. I think that's our excuse. It's all good. <laughs> cool. Well, that does it for this video. You know what to do. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. And leave a comment down below. Tell the Teleria boys hi. I will post their channel. And of course, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button.